Hi there, Melissa with, from the Pflugerville Public Library with another summer book chat. Today, we're going to talk about Una by Kelly DiPuccio and Raisa Figueroa. Our, uh, Una is a mermaid, and she has uh, lots of fun and adventures with her best friend, Otto, who happens to be a sea otter. She likes to collect treasures. She has uh, lots of somewhat scary adventures and somewhat fun adventures. Um, but the best part about Una is that she's also an inventor. And she uses her inventions to help her collect things. Choose Una if you like mermaid stories and gorgeous artwork. Our next story is Rabbit and Bear, Rabbit's Bad Habits by Julian Goh and Jim Field. Bear is sweet and lovely and a little bit hungry, whereas Rabbit is grumpy, kind of mean, and uh, not very nice to Bear. How these two become friends is part of the story here. You'll want to read this book to find out how they become friends and learn some interesting facts about bears, gravity, and some kind of gross facts about rabbits. It's pretty funny and has awesome illustrations and one very sad wolf. Our next book is Be Wary of the Silent Woods by Svetlana Chmakova. The Warren Books series started as a, a series for teens, and this book this brings it down to a younger audience. Alice is a witch who has um, a demon familiar, uh, also called an astral. When mysterious things start happening at her school, Alice and her cousin Naya decide to investigate. It's a little creepy, a little funny, and uh, this book will sweep you away into a fantasy world, and it's just a lot of fun. Finally, we have Primer. Primer is a cool twist on the superhero trope and the origin stories. It is by Jennifer Murrow and Thomas Krajewski, with art by Gretel uh, Lusky. Ashley Rayburn has been in and out of the foster homes for a while, getting into trouble by doing things like tagging and other things with spray paint. She finally lands with the Nolan family. Mr. Nolan's a college professor and a little hippie-ish and likes uh, creating artwork, so he bonds with Ashley pretty easily. But Mrs. Nolan's a scientist, and she's working for some secret projects for the government. Ashley accidentally finds some, gets into some paint that helps give her superpowers. The different power depends on what color the paint is. Now, you've got to read this book to find out if Ashley will use these superpowers for good or for evil. That's it for this time. We we'll hope you enjoy checking out these books, and we'll see you at the library.